300 years ago, forceps slipped into accepted practice without a single bit of evidence of improved outcomes. The use of forceps began around 1600. Four generations of family doctors used forceps secretly under sheets so no one would steal the idea. In 1680, Hugh Chamberlain sold the family secret to a Dutch medical college who sold it to doctors with a pledge of secrecy until one doctor broke the pledge and made it public. Witkowski's History of Obstetrics documents 220 different designs of forceps, none of which improve outcomes. Forceps were used to monopolize the very profitable business of birth, empowering the medical staff, not the mother. An unyielding 5 millimeter wide steel tool introduces a great risk to the mother and the baby. The normal delivery process gives the skin time to stretch without being cut or torn. There is no medical research which shows a need for forceps. Pushing and squatting delivers a baby more safely than forceps. Forceps results in 80% of women having damage to the anal sphincter, 2% of women having a third degree tear, 6% of babies having hematoma, 1 in 2,000 having a brain hemorrhage, and about 1 in 300,000 dies from their skull being crushed. Forceps takes a woman's power away. Today, forceps have been replaced by other routines like ultrasounds, epidurals, inductions, augmentations, fetal monitors, and hospital birth. Learn about the advantages of a safe home birth. Make an informed choice. Thanks for listening.